If you have an image or an icon with a simple background like this, you can open it up on your MacBook, click Markup, select the Instant Alpha tool and then click and drag on the background until it's fully highlighted in red. Now hit Delete on your keyboard and you'll remove the background from the image. You can see now when I preview the file by pressing spacebar, there is no longer a background. Of course, this will not work with some backgrounds that aren't plain and simple because the Instant Alpha tool selects colors that are similar and close to each other. What you can do in that case is select the Lasso or the Smart Lasso tool and drag around your subject as precisely as you can. Now once it selects your subject, you need to invert the selection to select the background. Click Command Shift I and it will invert. Now again, hit Delete on your keyboard and you can save the image image without the background. Obviously, this isn't the most effective way to remove a background and will work only in some cases. So there are better ways to do it. Go to pixelr.com slash remove dash background and you'll be able to upload your photo by dragging it into the website, which will use artificial intelligence to determine where your object is in the image and cut out the background. Then you can just download the image to your computer. If the selection isn't perfect, click fine tune and here you can choose if you want to keep or remove certain parts of the image. You can use the brush tool to paint over the background areas or the lasso tool to select the areas you want to keep or remove. Unfortunately, the website only lets you download certain image resolutions. That's why if you have access to a tool like Photoshop, it's going to be very easy to remove the background and retain the image's quality. Import an image by dragging it into Photoshop then choose Select and Subject. If Photoshop hasn't done a great job, you can select the Lasso tool and hold Shift to add to your selection or hold Option slash Alt to remove from the selection. Once you're done, click the little mask icon and your background will be removed. Then go to File, Export, export as and make sure transparency is selected. Click export and you'll save the image without the background. Now if you're preparing slides in PowerPoint or have Microsoft Word installed, it's also possible to remove the background there. Once you import an image into PowerPoint or Microsoft Word, click on the image to highlight it. Then select picture format, remove background. Now the areas in purple are the ones that will be removed from your image. If you don't like the selection that PowerPoint made, you can click the plus icon to mark areas that you want to keep and simply draw a circle around them. Or click mark areas to remove and you'll be able to do the same but for the background. To save the image as its own file, select it right click and choose save as picture. Then make sure to change the file type to PNG, otherwise the background of your image will be white instead of transparent. Now if you want to remove the background from an image on your iPhone and you have iOS 16 or later, you can just open the image in your photos app, hold it down on the subject and simply drag it somewhere to extract it from the background. Now on Windows you can remove a background from an image using software called Paint 3D, which is free and usually pre-installed on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you don't have it, you can go to the Microsoft Store and get it for free. Once you open Paint 3D, drag any image into it to import it. Now at the top, choose Magic Select. Adjust the rectangle to just be outside of your subject that you want to keep in the image. Click Next and adjust the selection by choosing Add Tool and painting over what you want to add or choose Remove and remove stuff that shouldn't be in the selection. Once you're happy, deselect autofill background and click next. Now your subject will be detached from the background. Tap on the background and hit delete on your keyboard to remove it. Now select canvas and adjust it so that it covers the whole of your image. Then to save it, click menu, 
save as image and make sure that save as type is set to PNG and that the transparency is turned on. Click save and your image will have no background. This has been how to remove the background from a picture and of course if you're still open-minded about learning something cool consider watching this video next or checking out my channel where I share many more useful tips and tricks.